So I noticed what I would consider to be uh, the first kind of critique of Toad and Pass, um, like in a written article. And I kind of wanted to respond to what um, they're saying in the article. And before I go on, I just want to say that, you know, everything that I'm saying is just based on uh, my own personal observations and um, just my understanding of the, of the company that's making Toad and Pass and uh, the product itself. These are just my opinions. Um, so it kind of reminds me of the very early days of Monet jewelry. So when Monet uh, jewelry came out, um, a lot of people um, were very skeptical of uh, the company because they thought, how can you possibly sell 24 karat gold uh, by gram weight to uh, people in the US? Because nobody would want that. The gold is too soft. It's not. Um, people wouldn't want it. They do. Um, it just won't be a successful company. It, it is. So all of those um, questions and concerns uh, turned out to not be true. And um, people enjoy Monet and has a, tons of repeat customers and thousands and thousands of tens of thousands of positive reviews. So Toad and Pass is a different product, but it's uh, created by uh, the same founder uh, of, as uh, Monet and Gold Money as well. So the article is focusing, in my opinion, on some of the wrong things, just like people focus on the wrong things with Monet. One of the criticisms of Monet was people would say, how can this be an investment? Because um, if you compare it to a stock or a cryptocurrency, it doesn't perform as well. And um, that's why I would try to redirect to people to think about Monet in terms of uh, an investment versus other types of jewelry. So you have 24 karat gold jewelry versus other types of jewelry that was uh, more diluted and would hold none of its value. So I would like to redirect people the way that they think about Toad and Pass, um, specifically uh, this article, because one of the things they say in the article they talk about how um, it's not indestructible, that you could take a drill or a file or a grinding wheel and put it to the totem pass and destroy it. Um, which, well, yeah, I mean, that's true. But if you did those things to other types of storage devices, you would also destroy them. So if you took a, a CD or a DVD or a hard drive and put a drill to it or a grinding wheel, yeah, you would destroy it. So a physical attack... Um, you know, most things are, are impervious to that. But what I would redirect people the way that I like to think about Toad and Pass is versus time. So, uh, you know, a hard drive or a DVD or a CD or those types of storage devices, um, over time, they degrade and over time they break down and over time they don't work and don't store your data. So Toad and Pass versus time um it will maintain your data. It will store it. It's not going to be damaged by um, the just the vicissitudes of time, meaning um, oxygen or uh, the things that over time destroy other other things. And there's no moving parts or no energy on a totem pass. So you know if you keep your data on the totem pass and you keep it in a, in a secure place, it will outlast these other things. And the other thing that's mentioned in this article, um, I definitely have to talk about. So. People love to bring up um, aqua regia, regia, if I'm pronouncing that right. It's a mixture of nitric acid and hydrochloric acid that can dissolve gold. And people love to talk about how you could take this stuff and you could destroy gold, which I find bizarre and hilarious. So, um, you know, it's as if there's uh, some uh, evil person, um, you know, scratching his chin and uh, mixing this nitric acid and hydrochloric acid to make agua, agua riga. And um, they're plotting to come find you and dump it on your totem pass or dump it on your gold jewelry. Um, and it's just a weird argument to me. It's almost as ridiculous as asteroid mining, but that's another subject. Uh, it's it's not quite that bad, but it's pretty bad because what are the chances that that you're going to encounter this this aqua regia with with your gold like it just why even bring that up because it's so unlikely and such a weird scenario um and it's just very very impossible to happen really i think to, to almost anyone but you will experience time and your gold uh will survive time so just like all the other um you know naysayers about Monet. 
I mean, I'm not saying we don't know what's going to happen with Totem Pass. It's a beta product. It is not fully developed. But I would think twice about just dismissing it just because it's new and you've never heard of it and um, it's something that you've never seen before.